Good day everyone, someone is asking me if PKB Mollyfish still needs aeration. In this video, we will talk about the top 6 reasons why PKB Mollyfish needs oxygen or aeration. Number 1. Oxygenation When you have an air pump or overhead filter in your aquarium, the water in your aquarium starts to have a dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen refers to the oxygen gas that is dissolved in water when there is a bubble in the water just like when you have an air pump. The dissolved oxygen in the water is absorbed by the fish to breathe using their gills. If there is no oxygen in the water, the fish may die due to suffocation from the lack of dissolved oxygen that their gills don't absorb. Air pump and overhead pump helps increase the dissolved oxygen levels in the aquarium water. But you may also add a plant to your aquarium so that the plant will release oxygen to your aquarium water. When the picky bay molly release waste, the beneficial bacteria will eat the fish waste. Then the beneficial bacteria will turn the fish waste into a nitrate that the plants will absorb. After the plants absorb the nitrate, the plants will release the oxygen that the fish needs to live. Number 2. Encouraging Beneficial Bacteria Aeration stimulates the growth of beneficial bacteria in the aquarium which plays a vital role in breaking down waste and maintaining a balanced ecosystem. It is advisable that we attach a filter like sponge filter to an air pump. The sponge filter will need an air pump for it to work. The air that the sponge filter releases upward will create a suction water flow going to the sponge. All the dirt in the aquarium will be trapped in the sponge filter. And because of that, the beneficial bacteria will live in the sponge of the filter. Beneficial bacteria will eat all the harmful bacteria that will give disease to the fish. These beneficial bacteria thrive in a well oxygenated environment, ensuring a healthier aquarium for your fish. Number 3. Prevention of Toxic Buildup Aeration or oxygen aids in preventing the buildup of toxic substances such as ammonia and nitrate which can be bad to the health of the fish. By promoting better water circulation and oxygenation, aeration helps to keep these toxic substances at the filter media or in the sponge filter. And because there is a beneficial bacteria in the filter, they will be the one to eat the toxic substance. Number 4. Promoting Health Plant Growth if your aquarium has live plants, aeration can help improve their growth by providing them with more oxygen. Aeration creates holes down into the soil to alleviate compaction so air, water, and nutrients can reach grassroots. In return, the plants will contribute to better water quality by consuming excess nitrate and producing oxygen through photosynthesis. Number 5. Mosquito Control Stagnant water is a breeding ground for mosquitoes. A moving bubbles or drops of water from overhead filter naturally disrupts the breeding habitat necessary for mosquitoes. I remember when there was no aeration or oxygen in my crayfish tank, there has been a huge number of mosquito larvae population in the crayfish tank. But when I make the air pump in high mode, the mosquito no longer make my crayfish tank a breeding ground. And because of that, we could avoid having a mosquito in our community that could carry deadly diseases that could harm people around us. And lastly, number 6, Reducing Stress A well-aerated aquarium provides a more stable environment for your fish, reducing stress levels and making them more resistant to diseases and infections. You can see the difference between a fish tank that has an aeration and oxygen and the one that doesn't have an aeration. The fish that had aeration in the fish tank were so energetic and lively that seems very happy in their habitat. Also, the fish breeds quickly since they have a healthy and clean environment that promotes their habitat as a breeding ground. While the fish tank that doesn't have an aeration seems to be stressed and always on top of water as it seems to be breathing air above the water. It's a sign that the water lacks oxygen and the fish can't breathe in the water. That's all everyone. I would like to say thank you for all of those who added a comment in my video. Thank you very much Selena Camarista 4019. 
Michaela Diangson, 9705, Nahudal Fady, 9897, Gerald Batalliones, 5389, and Desirin Inohin, 5254. See you again on my next video. This is Chuck and you're watching Biker Drone.